All right, sure. So I'm here with Norman Golden II. He is here celebrating the Lavoie Studio annual gala where they really honor the work that young children are doing and they're doing to continue to uplift their careers and futures in music. What brings you out today? Well, I, you know, I'm definitely celebrating you know, everything that you mentioned. Um, you know, they do really good work, uh, work that's you know, close to my heart. Um, you know, I've done a lot of work for, you know, media literacy with children and whatnot so you know this is something that's very dear near and dear to my heart so I want to you know support whenever I can. Sure you started off early in your acting career what advice could you give to someone although you started so young that might just be coming up and beginning to think about going into movies and film? <laughs> love what you do do what you love and you know create without compromise sure. you'll be all right don't worry about the outcome just enjoy the journey. Right. Today we're also celebrating the music of the Supremes. The former ladies of the Supremes in particular are getting an award. Tell us how that music speaks to your heart. Well, you know, believe it or not, like I grew up listening to that music. I mean, not from that era, but my parents. Sure. You know, my parents played, you know, the Supremes, Temptations, you know, a lot of Motown music. And, um, you know, it's, it's the soundtrack to a lot of people's lives. I mean, you know, that music resonates with you know generations including myself so um, again that's another thing that's near and dear to my heart music being um, I guess you could say the uh, you know the the common thread amongst you know human beings so you know always a love music always love you know Motown music and you know just the the the, the best of it sure. sense. and final question how important it is to preserve sort of the legacy of R&B and just sort of the way was music music was made at that time with the instruments and really working it all out and doing it in person and just having that sort of orchestration so to speak yeah so there is uh, an African proverb or a symbol if you will of the Sankofa bird which means you know it's a, it's a bird with his neck um, uh, with his head the, the beak moving uh, the body moving forward the beak moving backwards so the symbolism symbolism of that is you got to know where you came from in order, in order to know where you're going so the preservation of the history of that is definitely um, you know just with history in general you got to know where you know where you came from to know where you're going to know the tendencies of you know human beings and humanity um, to avoid maybe some of the pitfalls um, that we've encountered yeah. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the show. Thank you. I will. Absolutely.